dear students welcome back to english classes as we discussed in our previous classes there uh, a discussion took between gonzalo and laura are regarding bench next it is regarding shoe brush then it is regarding glasses then further it is regarding hunting then snuff then reading a book and later eyesight regarding the eyesight they discussed on that issue and uh, uh, columbus ferdinand isabella and later the place called valencia villa called maricela then they knitted the stories that he said regarding his cousin then she said regarding her friend uh, they her mutually discussed love affair between those it means uh, their cousin and uh, friend it means uh, gonzalo and laura and uh, they are discussing regarding fate now her regarding fate they are discussing dona laura says fate is curious here are you and i complete strangers met by chance discussing the romance of old friends long ago we have been conversing as if we were friends so this also we completed in our previous class regarding uh, they didn't want themselves to be revealed revealed their identity so they don't want here it means that is why they said that they were discussing uh, their uh, romance of their old friends it means their only don gonzalo yes it is curious considering the ill natured prelude to a conversation laura you scared away the birds you scared away the birds a discussion started between gonzalo and laura and gonzalo scared away the birds who are feeding on the crumbs given by laura and don gonzalo i was unreasonable perhaps really i was under at that time i lost my patience that is why i said so laura yes that was evident really that was evident of course are you coming again tomorrow she questioned are you coming already there is a relationship they had come to know that their relationship in the past they were lovers and because of that fate and fortune separated now at the age of 70 in uh, the garden on the bench at different ends they have seated and discussing their love affair said are you coming again tomorrow gonzalo most certainly she said most certainly if it is sunny morning yes i'll come if it is sunny morning and not only will not will i not scare away the birds when if i come tomorrow i won't scare away the birds i won't scare away the birds i will bring crumbs as you bring okay i to care i to love these birds i will bring few crumbs thank you very much she said thanks to whom thanked him she thanked gonzalo birds are grateful and repay attention birds will be happy and they pay their attention to you i wonder where my maid is she called her maid and uh, as she called her maid petra gonzalo don gonzalo aside see here she called her maid to go her home gonzalo aside looking at laura gonzalo looked at laura who is moving away from the park now those whose back is turned her back is turned towards gonzalo and gonzalo now he is looking at laura he says to himself see this is the reality this is the reality that is why as we consider this play is the blend of romance and uh, comedy have he says he didn't wish to convey who he was and uh, actually his intention is not to hide what he feels already that picture is there already one picture is in the mind and heart of that lady and it should not be erased away that no no said no no it should not happen her 
I will not reveal myself. I will not reveal myself. No, reveal means disclose myself. Revealing means disclosing. I don't want to tell about myself. I am grotesque now. I am grotesque. Grotesque means cannot walk properly. It is like that uh, twisted. Uh, ugly you may call ugly. Grotesque in the sense twisted. Or you may call ugly also. Cannot walk properly. Drags his leg to walk. Struggles very hard to move. So see that the gallant horseman when in his youthwood he was a gallant horseman. He used to toss the roses through the window and she used to catch. And while coming she used to toss those flowers and he used to catch. See that relation and now see the phases. The reality of life is age itself. Age matters. Age counts. So I am grotesque. No, how can I disclose myself that? So I am her lover in her youthhood. So no, it is not possible. I will not reveal myself. I am grotesque. I am ugly. Now her better she recall the gallant horseman who passed daily beneath her window tossing flowers. Regarding him, already there is a picture in her mind. She is cherishing, recalling, and enjoying those, that mellowing those memories, that uh, remembering that uh, gallant horseman, gallant lover, who used to come on horse, passing her beneath her window, tossing flowers. So, that picture is there in her mind. Why to erase that picture? So, let love that picture only. I should not say that I was. So, that one. No, it is not. I know I am grotesque. I am ugly. No, no, it is not right time. It is not right time. She was moving away from him and he looked at her. Looked at her back here. Her back is turned and he said to himself, No, I don't want to reveal myself. Donna Laura, here she comes. Donna Laura, here she comes means here that uh, she means uh, that her Petra, Petra here, her uh, maid, her servant. Donna Laura, that Conito, he plays havoc with nursemaids. It means uh, he is busy with those nursemaids and looks toward right and signals with his hands. He called whom? Conito. Donna Laura aside, looking at Gonzalo. Now that is the turn of Laura. The turn of Laura, Gonzalo, he is, he is moving away from the garden. So, it is the time of departure. It is her departure aside, away from Gonzalo, Laura, looking at Gonzalo. Now, whose back is turned? Now, they are not face to face. Whose back is turned? By seeing him. Her? No, I am sadly, I am too sadly changed. I am too sadly changed. See the explanation given by these writers, her ideal, beautiful as lily, jet black hair, black eyes, uncommonly sweet expression. See the explanation of that uh, beauty of this, uh, the silver maiden, the most beautiful woman who was staying in Maricela in the place called Valencia. See here. Now, age made this change. We must accept the change. So, I am too sadly changed when in my, if I compare myself, she says, if she compares herself at the age of 70 in her youthhood, I am too sadly changed, not only changed, sadly changed. My beauty, my appearance, my hair, Jet black hair, black eyes, her uncommonly sweet expression has, they have gone away. Nothing stayed with her. So, too sadly changed. It is better he should remember me, she says, it is better he should remember me as the black eyed girl tossing flowers as he passes among the roses in the garden. In the garden. Her. I am too sadly changed, says. That is why 
He should remember me as black eyed girl tossing flowers as he passed among the roses in the garden. Here he says, I am grotesque now, better that she recall the gallant horseman who passed daily beneath the window tossing flowers. She says to herself, it is better he should remember me as a black eyed girl tossing flowers as he passed among the roses in the garden. So mutually, finally they decided that not to disclose about their identity. Not to reveal about their identity. So once again they decided themselves that better recall those pictures, those memories, those images, those lovesome days once again. So, Cognito enters by right, Petra by light, their servants entered, Cognito and Petra. She has, she has a bunch of violets in her hand, she had brought some flowers, violets, okay. Then, Donna Laura, well, Petra, at last you came. What is the uh, reason to use an exclamatory mark over here? Because she was very busy with that guard. As uh, Lara says, that guard works more than he does to the park. Gonzalo, Conito, you are late. You are late. So he says, Petra to Dona Lara, the guard gave me these violets for you, Senora. That guard has given some flowers to whom? Violet flowers to whom? To to Laura, Senora, Madam. To you, Madam, he has given some flowers. Laura, how very nice. See the explanation mark. It is a celebration of life, is meant to celebrate our own. So, a way of life. Life is a celebration. We should celebrate. Life is a journey. We must travel. Okay. So, discovering new ideas, new way of life, new thoughts, new approaches, establishing some beautiful relationships, we must go on. So, uh, how very nice. Thank him for me. Thank him for me means so he has given some flowers, that is why thank him. They are fragrant, very fragrant. Her fragrance. As she takes the violets from her maid, as she takes, now she is taking some flowers from her servant while taking a few loose ones fall to the ground. Some loose flowers fall to the ground. Some flowers fell to the ground. Some flowers she caught. Some flowers fell to the ground while taking from her maid. See this one. This is the testing time of these two. Once again, Gonzalo and Laura. Gonzalo, my dear lady, said, my dear lady, this has been a great honor and a great pleasure. He said, today, this sunny morning, I have spent with you. I am very happy. I am, it has been a great honor and a great pleasure to discuss with you, to talk with you, to be with you. He said, yes. Laura, not only for you, it has also been a pleasure to me, not only for you, it has also been a pleasure, it is a happiness to me also, to spend such a sunny morning with you, it is a very happy moment, very, uh, it gives pleasure. Gonzalo, goodbye until tomorrow. Laura, until tomorrow, because already she has asked, will you come tomorrow? Goodbye until tomorrow, Laura, until tomorrow. Her, if it is sunny morning, if it is sunny morning, Gonzalo says, and if it is sunny morning, Laura, a sunny morning, will you go to your bench? Gonzalo, no, I will come to this, if you do not object. No, no, I won't go to any other bench, I will come to this bench only. If there is no objection from your side, Laura said, this bench is at your disposal. This bench is at your disposal. Disposal means you can use this bench at any time, it is meant for you only, it is allotted for you only, it is given for you only. I won't argue with you once again. Gonzalo, and I will surely bring the crumbs. Surely I will bring the crumbs, says Laura. Tomorrow, then, said, tomorrow, I will come then. Gonzalo, tomorrow, says, tomorrow. Then, Laura walks away toward right. Vara, her Laura walks away to, to our right, supported by her maid, Gonzalo, before leaving with Conito. It means, now, Laura 
started to move from started to go away from this gonzalo move walks away now he is walking away from that park supported leaning upon the arms of her maid petra she is going away while taking flowers from petra some loose flowers okay her had fallen to the ground then before leaving with genito now it is a turn off uh, that uh, gonzalo he had to leave the park taking the help of whom of conito so trembling and with a great effort trembling her huh? as old people they tremble they cannot walk properly sturdy walking is not possible because of the age because of the strength there is no strength with a great effort her trembling with a great effort stoops bends here to pick the violets from the ground laura dropped some flowers were dropped by her while receiving while taking flowers from that petra a few loose flowers fell onto the ground so her and here gonzalo he is trembling and putting his great effort bends to pick the violets to pick the flowers flowers laura dropped just then laura turns just then laura turns laura when he was bending with a great effort to pick the flowers from the ground suddenly laura looked at him he was struggling very hard to pick the flowers laura looked at him see the situation her then laura laura her head and surprises him picking up the flowers she surprised by seeing surprised by seeing what this fellow oh gonzalo struggling very hard to pick the flowers from the ground ha huh? dropped by laura now conito what are you doing sena that 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 conito doesn't know the relationship between uh, this gonzalo and laura what are you doing sena what are you doing here simply you are taking flowers from the ground gonzalo conito wait conito wait he said no let let me take the flowers laura aside once again away from aside aside now it is 100% confirmed that it is a there is no doubt it is a final confirmation her yes it is he he means who he means who here he the gallant horseman the gallant horseman who used to come on horse back tossing the flowers through whom through what through window and receiving the flowers from that lady through window so here the relationship between it is he means her lover in her it would it is he is he only there is no confusion laura don gonzalo aside it is she it is she here he and she laura says it is he this fellow is that horseman a gallant horseman brave horseman gonzalo it is she she means what here who here she means that lady her ideal beautiful like lily jet black hair black eyes uncommonly sweet expression can sp- spread the radiance wherever she stays and further the most beautiful lady who was staying in marisela the place called valencia or the silver maiden most beautiful lady here it is she here he and she it is reference taken dona laura and don gonzalo wave farewell dona laura don gonzalo wave farewell they said goodbye laura once again her can it be that this is he 
can it be that can it be that this is he is it so this is he can it be that see here these two lines are taken from a poem taken from a poem after 20 years he returns that poem already we have gone through this one in this topic Donna Laura can it be that this is he is it possible how come is this is he Laura heavens is it she really is it she here see the changes occurred in themselves here final part of this the conclusion part of this play uh, have it is concluded they realized that their identity is but they never said that her their mutual relationship but they discussed their relationship in the form of their old friends so that is called maturity it's called maturity once again over here my dear students so gonzalo heavens is it see they smile once more here they smile once more it means uh, appreciation smile uh, it gives uh, relationship building it is more as if she were again what he felt see once again my dear students as if she were now it is not possible to stand now now she is not at that age now she is at 70 he is at 70 he cannot walk properly so as if she were again at the window as if she were again at the window he imagined about her, her his beloved so again at the window he below in the rose garden and then disappear upon the arms of their servants so they disappeared upon the arms of their servants they once again the recollected recalled imagined those images brought before them those images that that gallant horseman the lady who stands at the window so this is so this play ends here okay so here some so in this topic some keywords that you have to remember based on those keywords you have to go through this one first discussion starts between these two regarding the bench then shoe brush then at last it goes on glasses and uh, hunting then snuff then reading glass eyesight columbus ferdinand isabella then valencia then marisela the most beautiful lady and then further it is uh, she said about her friend he said about his cousin and they discussed about their love affair referring cousin and friend then further uh, at the end the testing moment but they didn't reveal their identity okay here we'll see some questions to understand and to answer six mark questions you have to go through this play very clearly then only it is possible and four mark questions also as uh, the play is a little a bit little lengthy do you think laura was a regular visitor to the park what makes you to think yes she is a regular visitor to the park because her uh, the word says i am so glad to be here i am feared my seat would be occupied my seat my seat would be occupied means her seat daily she used to come and occupy that seat it indicates that her is a regular visitor why are don don going to annoyed with each other they are annoyed with each other because so when those birds were feeding the crumbs which were given by laura was disturbed by this gonzalo that is why the uh, both got annoyed because of that uh, scene laura reads without glasses as her donna laura reads without her glasses as she has keen eyesight she wants to impress gonzalo she knows every word by heart see her she knows every word by heart next gonzalo and laura keep up humorous conversations because they have the same temperament her they have the same temperament it is next laura and gonzalo friendly conversation begins with what their friendly conversation begins with what gonzalo reading the poems 
lot of witty remarks a pinch of snuff answer is pinch of snuff ha next do you think laura is an effective narrator of course laura is an effective narrator in each and every discussion she proved it regarding the snuff or regarding the when he disturbed the birds and uh, when he started to clean his shoes with the help of his uh, handkerchief or when he started to started to read taking his enormous pair of glasses so all these the scenes indicate that uh, she is an effective narrator gonzalo doesn't reveal his identity because her he no longer loves laura his appearance has changed he looks grotesque and old he looks grotesque and aged her of course to may consider here his appearance has changed but how it has changed we have to select the most appropriate one that is he looks grotesque and aged now this four more questions and uh, six more questions you have to first your duty is to go thoroughly and in detail her of this play then then only it is possible to answer first to go through the play and uh, later we'll discuss some collocations a collocation is a combination of words that are commonly used together the simplest way of describing collocations is to say that just sound right just sound right collocations have combination of words have just sound right to native english speakers we use some wrong collocations quick shower is a right collocation not as a fast shower fast food we use not quick food completely satisfied not we should not say that now i am totally satisfied it is wrong what is the right one completely satisfied okay hold charge is wrong take charge is right highly wanted no highly desirable wanted we use in different conditions okay highly desirable give a fine not we won't give fine we pay the fine here collocations make a mess right not a do a mess miss an opportunity is right not lose an opportunity bright idea is right not smart idea okay not smart idea of course we say smart idea but according to her collocations part her unnatural collocation it is deviant deviant it means unnatural okay that is why it is it is said that uh, english is uh, the easiest language to speak as we want but it is a very difficult language to write correctly ha huh? so bright idea smart idea talk freely speak freely here yeah, talk freely we should say speak freely it is wrong talk freely here speaking is different talking is different okay that we have smile laugh and all these things say so these collocations so her completed collocations after this one and my dear students go through this play or read the play understand all the incidents and uh, summarize this play yourself and you'll understand it clearly thank you have a good day